My name is Kirsty, and we worked on we updated our ta our um, title to a slightly sort of more boring, but maybe a bit more sort of descriptive title of uh, the Code and Data Citation Counter. And everybody uh, is named on this slide, and we have all of our ORCID IDs. Mine is in bold because um, I'm speaking. But we decided on author order because we were a very large group to go in reverse ORCID ID uh, numerical order. <laughs> We thought that would mean that the most junior people were at the top, but actually turns out it's totally random. So CodeSight allows researchers and policymakers to see how the presence and quality of links to data and software and publications are changing over time to identify emergent behavior. And what we mean by that emergent behavior is how culture change is being adopted over time and how that's showing through people citing their code and citing their data. So. We uh, worked in GitHub, we worked in GitHub right from the start. We have one main GitHub repository, but then we also have two additional ones because we have a Heroku app, and we also moved towards trying to containerize all of the work. We tried to abide by the highest, most open community standards, so we have an MIT license. We have three different citation <laughs> files because we wanted to be very <laughs> inclusive in our um, ways in which people can cite us. We have a readme, um, we have a code of conduct, we have a contributing file. And down at the bottom here, this is one of my favorite things, we use the um, emoji key to be able to identify how people have contributed. So if you fix a bug or you report a bug, for example, you can have your name down here and show up and you'll get a little bug emoji. We're big on emojis too. Um, on the other side of this slide, you can see the four different steps that we planned, and I'll tell you in a second how far we did with all of these. So the first is to use a tool called Content Mine, and specifically the command get papers, to search all of um, a corpus. In this case, we're using European PubMed Central. Um, step two is to extract the URLs from that. So we're searching for a particular term across um, a corpus. We then extract those URLs and test whether they actually resolve, because you can put a URL in your paper, but maybe your personal website isn't the same as when that paper was published. The last, the step three, sorry, step three is to see if the URLs resolve. Step four is to visualize it. And then we also had people working, uh, part of our team, on making that an interactive web app um, so that people can type in their own terms. We felt that we had a really great community. We had lots of pull requests. We also had lots of different pushes to master. So I don't think all of the work shows up as pull requests. Um, we had lots of people contributing. And we also had tweets with Peter Murray Rust, who built Content Mine and was very excited about us using the tool, and Europe PubMed Central, who, was also, who were also very excited about us um, text mining their literature. So let me just quickly flip over to the app. So the idea is, and you could imagine you might be able to contribute to the project going forwards by um, helping with some design, but you can search a term and it will show you how the occurrence of that term is changing over time. So this is one that we've made earlier. We didn't succeed in completely containerizing everything, but this is our proof of concept. And you can see that github.com is hugely increasing between 2012 and 2017. So back to, well, back to my slides. Um, the future potential is we want to improve recognition of research software engineers. We want better and sort of finer insights. We want people to be able to, we want to be able to correlate funding activity with citation behavior and paper publication with software citation. We're also interested in tracking to see whether links rot. So if, it's, if the link has been published five years ago, whether that actually sort of is sustained. Um, and, <coughs> Back to the oh, we, sorry, and let's spend one second to show you that finished. it's finished. finished. And yeah. here are, so this is our live demo. Where we've managed to actually trawl through about 100 of these um, papers and tell you whether or not uh, they resolve as true or not. So yeah, this, this is when the live is. Sorry, this is a, oh shoot, shoot, shoot. This is, there's another level. So sorry, just one second. So actually it's not just whether they resolve, there's also an additional step on top of that, whether there's a license. So there's sort of like, level one is there is a link, level two is that it's actually a real link and it resolves, level three is that there's a license. Sorry, yes. Great stuff.